Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get shaders for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. So, the first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But, once you're here, all you have to do is get yourself an installation for Minecraft, which lets you run shaders. And the thing we'll be using today is Iris Shaders. To get Iris Shaders, all you need to do is simply go to your search bar and look up Iris Shaders, like so. And here you should see a website called irisshaders.dev. Simply click the link. And once you've done this, you should be on the homepage of Iris Shaders. Simply go on Download Now and click Download Universal Jar. Once you have Iris Installer on your computer, what you have to do is be able to run the jar file. Now, this is not for everyone, but if you don't have Java for Windows installed, all you have to do is simply go to a new tab and go and search up Java for Windows. You should see this website here. I will have a link in the description if you need them, but all you do here is simply go on download Java and you should be able to run this installation. Now, Iris Shaders is not a shader, but it is something which lets you run shaders. So, to get the shaders you need, you will have to go to another website called Modern. And this website here, modern.com, is simply a website which has a lot of Minecraft modifications in one place. And to get shaders from this website, for example, you might really have your shader, but if you don't have shaders, you can do it like this. Simply go to Discover Content, Go down to shaders and here you have a bunch of shaders you can use for your minecraft so here i'm just going to use a classic bsr shaders so to get bsr shaders for example all you have to do is simply go to versions and click the green download button it's the same thing for any other shaders on this website so once you have your shader and iris installer and maybe java for windows what you have to do is simply close your web browser. We won't be need needing this anymore. And now all you need to do simply here is go to your file explorer. And once you're here, you have to go to your downloads folder, which you will be able to see your shader and iris installer. So what you want to do here is simply double click iris installer. And it should open up iris installer like so. Here you want to select your game version. You can select if you're on Iris or Iris with Fabric, which lets you run mods, for example, with your shader. But if I only use Iris only, for example, we will just be able to do install. It's the same thing for Iris and Fabric. The only difference with this one, really, it's just that you don't have the Iris logo in your Minecraft launcher. So once you click this and you complete it, simply close Iris installer and then go to your Minecraft launcher and it'll take a couple seconds to load up. But you should either see your Iris logo with Iris and Sodium, or you should see the little Fabric logo if you chose with Fabric. So, once you've found your little Iris and Sodium installer here, all you have to do here is simply add the shader to Minecraft. And the way we do this is by going to Installations, and then hovering over your Iris installment here, and going to your folder icon. And once you've done this, Simply find the shader pack folder, double click the shader pack folder, and once you're in the folder, all you have to do is go to downloads, you have to copy your shader, and once you've done that, go and go back to shader packs using this arrow here, which is a little shortcut to bring you back to the previous folder, and click paste. And here you now have your shader into your Minecraft folder. So. What you want to do here is simply go back to Minecraft Launcher, go to Play, make sure you have Iris and Sodium selected, and Play. And now you should have your shader working in Minecraft. It might not be automatically enabled, so you will have to enable it in your video settings. So I'm going to show you how to do this once Minecraft is opened. Okay, once we have Minecraft right here, all we need to do is simply go to a single player, multiplayer, or realm, and we can go 
two single playables, for example. Once this is loaded in, we can see that I have shaders already enabled, but if you don't see your shader enabled, all you have to do is simply go on Escape, Options, Video Settings, Shader Packs, and enable the shader pack. So if it's disabled, it will show you this, normal Minecraft, but with sodium, for example, because this is running on sodium. But if you want to turn on your shader, what you have to do is simply escape, options, video settings, shader pack, and select the shader you want to enable and apply. And here you have your shader. So yeah, it's that simple to get shaders for Minecraft. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.